हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज अ थर्टी आवर्स कोर्स ऑन अंडरग्राउंड स्पेस टेक्नोलॉजी माई नेम इज प्रीति माहेश्वरी वी ऑल नो दैट लॉट ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चरल डेवलपमेंट इज टेकिंग प्लेस इन इंडिया स्पेशली इन हिली टेरेन्स सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रोजेक्ट्स इंक्लूड अटल टनल ऋषिकेश कर्णप्रयाग रेलवे लाइन कोंकण रेलवेज एंड मेनी मोर हाइड्रो पावर प्रोजेक्ट्स due to uncertainties which are associated with rocks and rock masses the analysis and design of various underground structures pose different types of problems the mechanics which is behind the analysis of uh, such underground structures are all together different so compared to technical requirement as far as knowledge about the design of underground excavations is concerned we see that graduating civil engineering students in the country lack the required educational background so in an attempt to fill this gap we thought we could have a course specifically designed for students and practitioners dealing with the design of underground excavations so i have structured this course into several modules and each of these module addresses specific topic related to underground space technology first of all there will be an introductory module discussing the basic concepts of rock engineering and planning of and exploration for various underground construction projects then we will be talking about stereographic projection methods and their application to the design of underground excavations we will also learn about elastic stress distribution around tunnels of various shapes under different in situ stress conditions we will also derive various design principles from such analysis we will also learn about the analysis of multiple openings and also the openings in laminated rocks which will be followed by elastoplastic analysis of tunnels we also need to understand the connection between various rock mass classification systems and the design of underground uh, excavations so here we will learn about the application of these classification systems for the analysis of the underground excavations we will then learn about various ground conditions in tunneling which will be followed by the analysis of underground openings in squeezing and swelling ground conditions estimation of modulus of elasticity and modulus of deformation using empirical methods will be discussed along with their in situ determination by means of uniaxial jacking test plate jacking test radial jacking and goodman jacking test we will also discuss aspects related to new austrian tunneling method and norwegian tunneling method subsequently i will introduce you to the concept of rock mass tunnel support interaction ground response and support reaction curves then we will learn about ladani's elastoplastic analysis of tunnels and we will also have detailed discussion about the design of various support systems including concrete and short creek lining steel sets rock bolting and rock anchoring along with the combined support systems another important aspect in the design of underground excavations is the determination of in situ stresses so in situ tests such as flat jack test and hydraulic fracturing test will be discussed in detail we will learn about various aspects related to instrumentation and monitoring of underground excavations which will include details related to single and multiple point borehole extensometer load cells pressure cells and last but not the least 
I'll be discussing with you few case studies to give you the idea how various concepts that we learn in this course can be applied to the field. So, at the end of this 30 hours duration course, a participant of this course should have learned the following. Planning of and exploration of various underground construction projects, elastic analysis of tunnels, stress distribution for different shapes and under different in-situ stress conditions, their design principles, analysis of multiple openings and also openings in laminated rocks, elastoplastic analysis of tunnels, various ground conditions and application of rock mass classification systems in the design of underground excavations, field tests for determination of in situ stresses and modulus of elasticity and modulus of deformation, new Austrian tunneling method and Norwegian tunneling method, rock mass tunnel support interaction analysis, design of various support systems including shotcrete, steel sets and rock bolts, instrumentation and monitoring of underground excavations, then use of various concepts learned by means of few case studies. So this is going to be an intense but beneficial course for those of you who are passionate about working with underground space technology. I am looking at a wide range of participants here from undergraduate civil engineering students to practicing geotechnical engineers. I hope you will enjoy this course. I look forward to a mutually beneficial interaction. Thank you very much.